This is Ms. Jung, and we are going to make a graph in Google Sheets. So first, you're going to need to download Google Sheets, and you're going to have to put in your raw or processed data. So this is some processed data, and we are going to select just the B column data. That's going to give us the best graph in this most recent update of Google Sheets for the iPad. So to do that, we're gonna put our box in B1 and then we're gonna drag that small circle down. We don't want it to look like this, we want it to look like this, just the B column data. Then we'll go up here to the plus and we're gonna choose chart. Bada bing, bada boom, we have a beautiful chart. Now, you have a lot of options. You could have a line chart or a pie chart, but because this data is comparing two things, we're going to use a bar graph. Um, down here, they show a bar graph going sideways, so I guess technically this is a column chart for Google Sheets. Then I'm going to take that legend off because I don't want it, and let's start putting in our titles. So our char chart title is going to be our independent variable, which was height of ladder in meters versus the average height of the bounce. All right, so now we can see that title up above. We're gonna put our horizontal axis title, that's the x-axis, which again is the independent variable, so that is height of ladder yet again and the unit for that was meters and then let's just check the left vertical axis title which for us was height of bounce and that auto populated and looks good so now we have a nice graph if we want to go back and edit our graph we just have to tap on it and click edit chart and then we can change you know the color if we want i like a yellow graph personally all right, now we need to put this in our lab report or in our assignment. So we're gonna take a screenshot. There we go. And we'll crop it down. And some of you may have noticed that your chart is missing something. It's missing those changes in the independent variable that should be found underneath each column. So we're just gonna use the draw function and write those in. No matter how hard I tried, I was not able to find a way to get Google Sheets to do this. And then we're gonna say done and save to photos. And now it's ready to be inputted into an assignment or a lab report. Thanks for watching.